Hi guys, so I would like to show you how to upload your firmware on the STM32 board using only USB cable. It is actually quite easy to do. Uh, it is called a DFU mod direct firmware update. And this is the feature that almost all of the STM32 chips have. Uh, here you can see the document where all of this is described in details AN2606. Uh, you can find this document on the official site. Uh, I have the board STM32F401, so let's go and find my chip. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, okay, so this is it. And here we see that to go into this mod, I have to uh, use apply pattern 1. Let's go here. Okay, so I have to uh, put my uh, to connect my boot zero pin to high, uh, and I have two varieties of the boards: uh, the boards with the buttons and the board with the switches. So I have to find where uh, to where the boot zero pin is connected, and in the case of the switches, again the board is. F of 401. Uh, it is uh, the pin number three, and in the case of the board with the um, buttons, it is very clearly seen. It is written down on it. So how do I? How do we enter uh, the DFU mod? We have to put the switch number three into the position on, and then press reset button or, of course, like power down, power up your uh, board. Uh, in the case of the board with the buttons, you have to press button, boot zero, keep it pressed, press reset, and then uh, take off your <laughs> and, uh, release. Yeah, release the button zero. Uh, of course, you can also while pressing the button zero, uh, power down, power up your board. Let's see in practice how is it go. I have, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The moment you, the program that we're gonna use is called STM32 Cube Programmer, and you can find it on the on their official site of STM32. Uh, basically, you type into Google STM32 Cube Programmer. The first link is your link. Go down, download it. Uh, they have kind of tedious. Uh, loading process, but uh, you you can do it. So after it is there, and and after you install it, uh, then you have to have your firmware file. Uh, as you see here, we have the old firmware, and now let's let's make it a new one. So I'm gonna change. Yeah, I'm gonna change. My firmware to the new one. I'm gonna generate the firmware file. Let's see it. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna build the new file, and now I have to put my board into DFU mode. Okay. So I'm gonna use the screwdriver. As you see on the back we have the switches and now I'm gonna put the switch number 3 into position on. Yeah, there was a click and the position uh, and the switch number 2, uh, switch number 3 is in the position on and we're gonna power uh, down and power up. So you see, no screen has been loaded, so we know that we are somewhere. Let's go now back to STM32 Cube Programmer, launch it, and while it is there, we're gonna see. Yeah, here, here is the firmware file that has been built. Let's go to it. Okay, here it is. Yeah, the STM32 Cube Programmer is launching. And now we go into USB, find the 
find the device, connect to the device, uh, download. You can just drop and drop, drag and drop your file, verify programming, start programming. Okay, so now we have our device programmed and we have and we have to place the switch in its original position. Okay, and now we can launch it and see if we have a new firmware. And we have a new firmware. So this is how it done. It's done. Of course, you're gonna have some caveats. You have uh, pitfalls. You have to uh, be sure that your USB cable is uh, nicely connected. It's not loose because you're gonna have some errors. But otherwise, it is easy. It is convenient, and I hope I help you at least somehow. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please type. Type in the comments and uh, I'll be happy to answer them. See you.